Bloody hell. Typical. H have you read this? Yes, and I agree with you. Oh, right. Hang on. No, you haven't. OK, what? Scientists say that future generations have a very real possibility of living indefinitely. Oh, good. Don't be an idiot. Did you hear me? Future generations, not us. Right. Well, don't you know what that means? It means we're going to be the unluckiest generation ever. Why? Because we're going to be the last ones to die, you dick. Well... We're going to be, like, dying and being looked after and leaving all our money to a bloody bunch of immortal super beings. <laughs> David, are you jealous? What? Are you jealous of your future unborn children? Do you want your unborn children to die? I mean, not actually see them die, but you'd want to know that one day they will. Um, you'd look into the eyes of your child, all full of hope and wonder, and console yourself with the thought that they too will age and fail. Can you just drop the whole sanctimonious fatherhood thing? What? Oh, David, now I've got a baby. I feel all different about everything. Oh, Dave, you just wait, David, till you've got a baby. Then you'll feel the same. You won't want to kill or hate anymore. Look. C can we not do the baby death sketch? It just makes me a bit squeamish now I've got a baby. You vetoed all those back pain sketches. There is nothing funny about back pain. Don't make me out to be the weird one just because I don't like jokes about children dying. I'm not saying all the jokes have to be about children dying. OK. I just think it's mean-spirited to resent your descendants' potential immortality, which, incidentally, isn't going to happen. Oh, Hargett, Ben Goldacre with his analysis of the science articles. I've seen you take vitamin C. I just think you should calm down about it. Well, they'd better sort their pensions out, I can tell you. They will be screwed on their pensions. Smug little immortal bastards. That cheers you up, doesn't it? Yeah. Smug little bastards.